Morning, morning. Right, well, it's December the 31st and it's um, New Year's Eve 2016 and we're off to uh, take Holly to her flight simulator experience which uh, she got for her birthday or oh, was it Christmas I can't remember anyway it's about um, about 30 something miles away so it's going to be pushing the batteries a little bit uh, we've been on charge all night, so we should be okay. But let's have a look. Let's see how we do. Let's see what we've got. Actually, I just realised what I need to do is put some water in. Uh, here we go. Just got to uh, get this water in here. So, uh, oops. There we go. Just in case we have a little bit of a. Uh, Dirty windscreen when we're on the way. There we go, we should be fine. Great, all looking good. Off we go. Dear me, look at the state of this again. This is this is dirty diesel cars. Right, important when you're going on a trip, keep those uh, keep those cameras clean. Let's give that a wipe as well. And that so people can see what I'm indicating. Just want a quick wipe. <laughs> All right, well, we've arrived. Uh, it's in uh, back up or bake up um, in a place called Stackstead. Anyway, we're here now. So, here we are. We've arrived. Flight deck experience. We're in this one here. Hello. Uh -huh. So, where do we go? Oh, we go up those stairs. Up those yeah. stairs, because Concord's up there, see? So. Yeah, off we go up there. Go there. Yeah, check-in's on the right here. Awesome. I think this is the place. Is that where you're going to? New York. <laughs> <laughs> here we go, then. The first. A nice cup of uh, hot chocolate. Where's the? Where's it gone? <laughs> there's no. There's no hot chocolate in that one. <laughs> oh dear. Oh well. I got about a quarter of a cup. This is uh, this is the flight deck experience. Let's see there. Can you pretend you're flying through there? No, you don't. Simulators over there somewhere. Look at the nice uh, pictures on the wall. Aha! There's a real plane. It's cool. Here we go then. <laughs> Here we go. So this is what we're going to sit at. I don't. I didn't ask him what what plane it is. What did he say? What did he say it was? Did he say what it was? I can't remember. Well, Holly and I have just sat with the uh, the pilot, Keith, who's just giving us a bit of a tour of the cockpit and all the controls. So uh, we're just moving the plane, or he's just moving the plane back from Hong Kong to Manchester. We're going to fly from Manchester to Birmingham. Uh, so on, on, the <laughs> on the stand, we're going to start on the stand. So that's like really testing. So... Uh, Fingers crossed everything goes well. This is like a full flight from Manchester to Birmingham. Awesome. Oh, look at this. That's the flight deck for Concorde. I have to tell you, when you're sitting in this seat, all this is very, very, can you see that? All this is very cramped around you. It's really tight and you feel like you're in a little cupboard. <laughs> oh, I've just noticed something. Uh, they've actually even got a check the size of your luggage before you go on board. This is awesome, it's very funny. And we've got all the times in different places. We've got New York on the left. Um, where have we got, Brazil, is that? Brazil. Brazil, London, Paris, and Amsterdam. Awesome, right. Ladies and gentlemen, please take your places on the plane. Here we go. <laughs> Can this even got a door and everything? 
looks like a full plane. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't fancy your seat, Holly. You, you're going to be seat's great. Yeah, it's yeah. Cool. Where are we going to sit? Okay, this is even vehicles outside the window. Yeah, I'll move. So, uh, there is a jump seat. Is there? So, and it doesn't move, so you can wander around as and when you want. Okay, thanks. Awesome. This is Keith. Are you all right to be on? Yeah, you know, this is Keith and Holly, obviously. So, and that's the. Um, I just put my head in there. Oh my I'm word. Just pop it from the ground. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to get the APU, which is an engine in the tail, started. That gives us the electricity, our own electricity. We're going to turn on that fuel pump there, it gives us the fuel pressure. So, APU turns on there, so one click down on that. We hold it down for two seconds. Yeah. Uh, can we, we can start there, don't we? Right, so we're going to start engine number two first. So, push the engine start switch forward, push it in, twist to the left, and let go. Okay, if you watch that figure there increase, when that gets above 21, you're going to put some fuel into the engine. So you just pull that lever back up there when it gets to 21. My uh, flight is a max, I'm afraid, sadly.
just where these two red squares are on the ground. So I'll probably bring the power all the way back now.
feet right, it'll be in the middle. Remember, once you're on the ground, you're steering. 
that one again. If you remember it, reverse thrust. If you don't, I'll do it. <laughs> I probably won't. I'll warn you now. <laughs> yeah, that's fine.
over. And if you press that button twice, that'll disconnect the autopilot. Okay, so just follow across. Okay, taxi light can go off. Right. 
Thanks for your Well done, huh? Thank you. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so we can turn the yard up and back off. The four fuel pumps can go up. Okay, the ground power is now available, so if you hold that one down, it transfers us onto that so we can now turn off the APU. Now, these two hydraulic pumps can go off, the middle ones here. Yeah. And that one, yeah, move that one off. The four window heats can go off, and the probe heats can go off. And the APU bleed can go back on. Good job! <laughs> Enjoy it? Well, yeah, I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> I needed it all right though, Thank you. Awesome. Well done, Dale. Fantastic. So, is this a 737800? Yeah. yeah. You just flew a 737800 oh. from Manchester. With, with lots of help. <laughs> to Birmingham. How do you feel? Now you've got to walk back. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Where did we leave the car? <laughs> awesome. Well done, Dan. Thank you. <laughs> Fantastic. Awesome. Yeah, that's really good. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Right, Captain. Are we off? Are we off then? <laughs> Brilliant. So, uh, awesome. Oh, you get a certificate. Awesome. Thank you very much. Awesome. Thank you very much, Keith. You're welcome. Thank you very much, Keith. Thank Cheers. Sure, we'll be back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think we will. You're welcome. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So, have a look at your certificate. Look at that. Fantastic. Awesome. Well done, Dana. Wow, well, okay, that was uh, really cool. Uh, it's a 737 800, and uh, it's a fantastic half an hour. Holly flew from Manchester, standing at the stand, got it on the runway, taxied, took off, flew all the way to uh, Birmingham, yeah, Birmingham, and then landed it perfectly. And then taxied all the way to the stand and turned the whole plane off. From cold and dark to cold and dark with a flight in the middle. Very, very good. Ah, so now all we have to do is get home on uh, the rest of the charge. Let's see how we do. Let's see where we're up to. Right, here we go. Let's we'll check out what we've got left. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, 42 miles. That's all right. We should... Should be able to do it in that, I would thought. <laughs> Got to go that way. Off we go then. Ah, uh, well, back home again. So, um, was about uh, 59.5 miles and we've got 19 miles on the clock. So, uh, we did really good. The economy was really good then. Very good. Very pleased. Um, as you can tell, we've done uh, over 30,000 miles. We passed that only 700 miles ago. Um, and, uh, yeah, car's still going really well. Um, getting less power in the batteries over winter again. But it doesn't seem to be getting less and less and less. It doesn't appear to be getting worse. We've had uh, 90 a couple of times in the last few months. Um... Haven't seen it recently, but then I've not been. I've been driving quite, you know, normal motorway speeds, and that does seem to, when you when you get the, your charge and your miles come up, it it, it seems to remember that you've been travelling at uh, you know seventy, and so it sort of calculates well based on recent driving. This is what you should get out of this. So I mean, if you drove at fifty odd, you'd probably get uh, a bit more out of it. Anyway, right, there we go. Let's put the brakes on. Uh, do some charging. <laughs> 